tell me about this mask and working on Donnie Darko. Well, first thing I gotta say is uh, when I first started working on Donnie Darko, all I knew was it was a bunny. I didn't know what the mask looked like. They actually hadn't sketched the mask yet. It's just okay. a six foot bunny. And uh, when I sh when they showed me the sketch of the mask, which is again 2D, you know, it's still, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing. So I thought, oh, I can't believe that that's what the bunny is going to be. But when they ended up, after I went and got fitted and they ended up putting me in the suit for the yeah. first time, when I first saw that mask with the hood, I could not believe that that was the bunny I got to be. That's, that's, that's me. I can't believe it. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd see it again? No, I never thought I'd see I mean, I didn't think the movie, you know, I thought it would, the movie would come, hopefully some people would come, you know, enjoy it. And yeah. I didn't expect it to not really be as unsuccessful theatrically originally, right. nor did I expect it to be the cult hits it became. So, it's, the whole ride's been an amazing trip. Amazing yeah. Journey, yeah. And to come full circle, you know, and see this mask again after eight years, I've worn that since we shot in the summer of 2000. So that's unbelievable, and like I, you know, I was telling some other people, I've been, you know, brought a lot of fan-made masks and replica over the years. And some very, very well made, and it's it's a, it's a it's a huge compliment for them to bring it. They're so inspired, they bring it to you. Right. Copies given to me, and then just oh, this is amazing. It's not quite right. I couldn't tell you what was right about it. Right. About it. It's a really good copy though. After eight years of seeing that and then seeing this, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> To see it, because like, there's no mistaking. Right. There's no mistaking. Right. And was it uncomfortable to wear? The mask actually was not, it's not that it was uncomfortable, but the suit itself got very, very hot. Yeah. Very quickly. We were shooting in the summertime. So when I put the suit on, you know, after 10 minutes, they'd have to take the mask off because it's like covered in sweat. It's actually, if you look at the scene where I unmask here from this photo, my hair is wet. It's, it's dry, but it's sweaty wet at the same right. time. That's just from having the mask on. And you said there is one, they made one giant suit for only, you to as wear? As far as I know, it was only one suit. I was, it was fitted for me. Okay. So even though it looks kind of baggy and whatnot, the idea was like this rabbit that had bones but no flesh. On it. Okay. So it was definitely, you know, if someone else would have wear it, it wouldn't look quite the same. Okay. So that, the mask, the hood, it was all kind of, I was brought in to be fitted for it. Yeah. Cool. And you've, you're working on a few films right now? Yeah, I just finished doing, a, I have four movies in the can, three horror movies. One's called uh, Evolution with Guillermo Diaz. Okay. Know, Half-Baked, he's now in Weeds. Uh, I just finished another movie called The Black Waters of Echoes Pond. That's with Robert Patrick, the babysitter twins from Grindhouse, Daniel Harris, and uh, uh, Walker Howard. And I don't want to forget the rest of the, the amazing cast that we have in there, as well as, as um, uh, Sean Waller from Braveheart. Cool. You know, so we have an amazing cast. It takes place over a weekend about some friends who uncover this ancient game which releases the unpossessed in them. Or shall I say the possessed. <laughs> and uh, then the last one I did, I just finished a movie. With, or uh, finished two movies. The last horror was Corner with Steve Gutenberg. Okay. And it's back. Cool. So first doing a movie with Steve Gutenberg and then I'm recently shooting something now called Caller ID with Peter Green and a few other younger actors who already finished their parts like John Cho is in it. Uh, another actor named Nathan Bexton. And I'll be finishing out my my shots in a couple of weeks. Okay. And then that, so caller ID will be in camera. Okay. And how did you arrive at Comic Con? To uh, today I arrived by train. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday I actually drove here, and I had to go back with my girlfriend. When I realized I was going to come back for this, which I was not going to miss, I'm like I'm taking the train. I'm not dealing with the hassle. I just want to come and spend a few hours with my mask. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Jason, I should I say your mask, but my life. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. All right, thanks. No, thank you, Jason. Thank you. It's a pleasure.